Welcome to the world of wonderful landmarks. I hope you are doing great. Please don't miss visiting, if you haven't yet. May you please subscribe. The Palace of Versailles was the principal royal residence of France from 1682, under Louis XIV, until the start of the French Revolution in 1789, under Louis XVI. It is located in the department of Yves Lines, in the region of Isle de France, about 20 kilometers southwest of the center of Paris. A simple hunting lodge, and later a small chateau, with a moat occupied the site, until 1661, when the first work expanding the chateau, into a palace, was carried out for Louis XIV. In 1682, when the palace had become large enough, the king moved the entire royal court, and the French government to Versailles. Some of the palace furniture at this time was constructed of solid silver, but in 1689 much of it was melted down to pay for the cost of war. Subsequent rulers mostly carried out interior remodeling, to meet the demands of changing taste, although Louis XV did install an opera house at the north end of the north wing for the wedding of the Dauphin and Marie Antoinette in 1770. The palace has also been a site of historical importance. The Peace of Paris was signed at Versailles, the proclamation of the German Empire occurred in the vaunted Hall of Mirrors, and World War I was ended in the palace with the Treaty of Versailles, among many other events. The palace is now a historical monument and UNESCO a World Heritage Site, notable especially for the ceremonial Hall of Mirrors, the jewel-like Royal Opera, and the Royal Apartments, for the more intimate royal residences, the Grand Trianon and Petit Trianon located within the park, the small rustic hammer created for Marie Antoinette, and the vast gardens of Versailles with fountains, canals, and geometric flower beds and groves, laid out by André Le Notre. The palace was stripped of all its furnishings after the French Revolution, but many pieces have been returned and many of the palace rooms have been restored. In 2017 the Palace of Versailles received 7,700,000 visitors, making it the second most visited monument in the Isle de France region, just behind the Louvre, and ahead of the Eiffel Tower. The Palace of Versailles is owned by the French state, its formal title is the Public Establishment of the Palace, Museum and National Estate of Versailles since 1995. It has been run as a public establishment, with an independent administration, and management supervised by the French Ministry of Culture. The Palace of Versailles offers a visual history of French architecture from the 17th century to the end of the 18th century. It then became grander and more monumental, with the addition of the colonnades, and flat roofs of the new royal apartments in the French classical, or Louis XVI style, as designed by Louis Laval and later Jules Hardouin Mansart. It concluded in the lighter and more graceful neoclassical Louis XVI style of the Petit Trianon, completed by Ange Jacques Gabriel in 1768. The Grand Gallery is a highly decorated reception room dedicated to the celebration of the political and military successes of Louis XIV, and used for important ceremonies, celebrations, and receptions. It is located between two salons that match its decor. The chapel was the last building at Versailles to be completed during the reign of Louis XIV. It was consecrated in 1710, and was dedicated to Louis IX of France, the ancestor and patron saint of the king. Construction was begun by Hardouin Mansart in 1699 and was completed by de court. Daily services, wedding ceremonies, and baptisms were held in this chapel until 1789. Like other royal chapels, it had two levels. The king and family worshipped in the royal gallery on the upper level, while ordinary courtiers stood on the ground level. The Royal Opera of Versailles was originally commissioned by Louis XIV in 1682, and was to be built at the end of the North Wing with a design by Manzart and Vigorani. However, due to the expense of the King's Continental Wars, the project was put aside. The idea was revived by Louis XV with a new design by Ange Jacques Gabriel in 1748, but this also was temporarily put aside. The project was revived and rushed ahead for the planned celebration of the marriage of the Dauphin 
the future Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette. For economy and speed, the new opera was built almost entirely of wood, which also gave it very high quality acoustics. The wood was painted to resemble marble, and the ceiling was decorated with a painting of the Apollo, the god of the arts, preparing crowns for illustrious artists, by Louis Jean Jacques Durimo. The sculptor Augustine Perdue added statuary and reliefs to complete the decoration. The new opera was inaugurated on May 16, 1770, as part of the celebration of the royal wedding. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Hope to see you pretty soon. Till then, take care and be safe.